Yes, hi there. I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the TOEFL online course, The Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. And these comments are for Abiyashek. And it looks like you completed my independent speaking practice test number six over at my uh, Voxypop discussion group for my online TOEFL course and let's take a look at what you have to say so I think what I want to do here is I'll listen to it at least once and maybe two times so I can give you a pretty accurate assessment of your speaking abilities so if I remember correctly independent speaking practice test number six if I take a look at that one where what, what do we have here okay here it is so what do you think is better living on campus in dorms or living off campus in apartments that's the actual question so this is called a pair choice response so here we go personally I would prefer to stay on campus in the college dormitories and uh, this is for two reasons now if if you want in the beginning instead of saying this is for two reasons try to combine those two sentences to create a little bit more what we call complex type idea first reason is that it's uh, less expensive compared to staying off campus because uh, staying off campus requires that uh, one rep one should rent, a, rent an apartment and uh, uh, this uh, involves a lot of cost and there are additional costs as well including transportation and food etc and secondly it allows the person to develop a better familiarity with the university surroundings and also bond with people who are also staying in dormitories and thereby uh, it's very much more beneficial okay not going to do so well on this one uh, your second idea you said become more familiar with the facilities and then you said bond with people but you didn't give any examples for that second idea that you included there so I think in this response you need better topic development you need examples to help illustrate your ideas so to say to become more familiar with the facilities on campus that's one idea you've already had the first idea which is less expensive right but then to bring up the second idea to bond with other people probably not a good strategy because you don't have enough time to give examples for those so instead of including three key ideas just focus on you know I prefer to live on campus because it's less expensive and I can become more familiar with the campus facilities just focus on those two things right then say first of all if I live on campus it'll be less expensive than living off campus in an apartment then you give an example there say second of all I prefer to live on campus because I can become more f familiar with facilities such as a library then you can give an example to illustrate what you can or how you can become more familiar with the library by living on campus right all right, so let's take a look at, at the uh, rubrics here for this particular uh, speaking task. Uh, on this one, uh, what do we have? Uh, I don't think you'll score four. You're not going to get a perfect score here. I don't think you will get in the three range here. So in the two range, topic development says your ideas are limited. You mostly express basic ideas with limited details and support. This is especially true with the second idea of your response. So that would be the main reason I'm going to put you in the two area here. Uh, also probably your response demonstrates limited range and control of grammar. That's why I suggested in the beginning instead of the two short sentences you could say something like this. Because it is less expensive and I can become more familiar with campus facilities I prefer to live on campus in dorms you know start off with that one sentence there and that shows the IBT human raters you have a little bit better control of your grammar so what do you do now uh, I would suggest take a look at at uh, my grammar lesson number one that'll go over a sentence variety give you some ideas on how you can create more complex type grammar in your speaking so make sure you look at that uh, with your pronunciation uh, you're having some problems with the P, 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 P. 
apartment. Apartment. So you're not pronouncing the P with enough air. So go to the pronunciation area of my course and review the pronunciation of the P consonant sound. I think that would also be uh, useful for you. So your score here, uh, I'm going to put you at about 2.16 out of 4 or 17 points out of 30 in this practice test. And remember, keep posting on a regular basis. You're one of my students, right? So you're paying your monthly subscription. So make sure you use my course on a regular basis. I haven't seen your speaking um, practice test recently, but I, I don't check all the time, so maybe I just missed it. But anyway, keep up the good work and, and uh, have a happy new year, 2014. I'm glad to have you as one of my students. And remember, if you like my TOEFL course, tell somebody about it. You can send them an email. Tell them about better TOEFL scores. They can go over to my website, make a comment. I will answer any questions that your friend might have. All right. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a great day. And uh, keep up the good work.